Right, my friends, so I'm in Nottingham. I've been in Nottingham over the last couple of videos, and I passed this place earlier on, Lagan Indian Tapas. I stuck my head in the door. It was like walking into the TARDIS. It was unbelievable. So I went in there, looked at the menu. The menu looked really good, and you know what? It's quarter to five, which means it's coming up to dinner time. And I thought, you know, I might, I might just have to try it out, do a little video on it, do a little vlog on it before I head off to Cyprus. I thought, yeah, go on then. And it is absolutely amazing inside. I thought, oh, it's just the two front parts here, but it goes way back. And the decor inside, or the decor, if you're from Mansfield, is phenomenal. So let's hope the food is just as good. So let's get in there. If you're new to the channel, by the way, do hit the subscribe button if you like the content. Uh, if you don't, then you've probably left already. Anyway, <laughs> without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, okay, so let's get in there. I'm a little bit peckish, I have to say. Not eating today, I only had a cup of coffee. So we're gonna head in, we're gonna sit by the window, but let's get in there and I'll show you around the inside first because honestly, the decor, 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 decor? I don't know, anyway, whatever. It's absolutely fantastic. More about the food, come on. Right, okay, now then, this may look very staged, but you've never seen me before, have you? I do like to just do these weird and random things. I came past this place earlier on, I thought, this looks really good. So I popped in, I said, do you mind? Well, the gentleman over there says, can I help you? I said, I'm, I'm a YouTuber, can I come in and film it? So he was like, yeah, so uh, you're Manish. Yes. Manish Kumar. Yes. Right, now then, this place is called Lagan. Lagan? Lagan? Lagan. Lagan, okay. Can you tell me the concept? We've just seen around, it's a fantastic building. Nottingham is my home city. And you definitely haven't met me before. This is, not, this is a bit weird, isn't it? Because there's some strange guy with a weird haircut like mine <laughs> who's just walked in with a camera and a phone on a stick. Um, You've, this is Indian tapas, but you do two concepts, don't you? So what, yeah. what are the concepts? It's like Indian tapas, like an Indian tapas. We have a set menu. Yeah. So set menu is like a two course. So you'll get five different types of starters. Okay. And four different types of curries served with rice and omelette and dessert as well. Yeah. So it's a tapas type of concept and it's a fast going over here. The people, they like this type of menu. 
So it comes out as it as it comes out like yeah. a tapas. Yeah. But then if they want to come in here as well and they want a set menu, they just want a dish, you've got that as well. So you've got the set menu there as well. So you could just come in and have just a dish of say if I want a chicken tikka masala, could you yeah, have that? You can have that one as well. Yeah, so you don't just have to have the tapas. No, no. You can have sort of like a traditional Indian meal if you want as well. Yeah, of course. Oh fantastic. And you've got beers on tap there of as course. well. So So we have Indian beer, Cobra. Yeah. We have Kingfisher in bottle, we have Peroni, Madurai. And we have IPA as well. Okay, now then, I'm going to let you see the menu in a man moment, my friends. I've already got the uh, poppadoms here and the chutney tray there, the pickle tray. Um, everybody on my channel says to me, you always have the same dish. I always have a chicken tikka masala wherever I go around the world. So today, I'm going to let you choose for me. I think we'll go for the concept of the tapas idea and you can show me a few different dishes of what there are yeah, yeah. Um, the main course you will get how special chicken yeah how special lamb yeah butter chicken butter chicken yeah yeah tarka dal yeah uh, it's called yellow lentil with rice and non bread papad and dessert is called gulab jamun brilliant okay so it's a small small portion yeah so it's like a thali type of concept you can have everything and it's not too big not too small it's approximately right amount yeah and you're based in the lace market in nottingham yes you're open seven days a week of course and you've also got an upstairs which i think you saw there on the b-roll as well it is a it's like the tardis in here i walked in i thought it's basically the two rooms it goes way back and there really is it's a fantastic place it's a great it's a great ambiance when you get in there it there it is empty at the moment because i have popped in on them early as you can see it's still light outside and it's uh kind of coming to the end of winter now isn't it just yeah. about yeah, yeah. supposedly anyway uh, so we're going to try a few different dishes and while we wait for the dishes to be done just take a closer look at the menu my friends Right, okay my friends, so we're going to go in through the pickle tray first and uh, the poppadoms here. They must think I've lost the plot, this crazy person's just walked in with a strange haircut and just uh, taken over the place. But I thought, do you know what, I need a quick video that I'm going to do in my home city before I jet off to uh, Cyprus. So I thought, this place looks fantastic and I was right, I just got a funny feeling about it. Things do fall into line there, so let's go in for a little bit of uh, mango chutney on here. Pop in there in the little poppered on there. Uh, we'll also get some uh, onions in there as well. Some of the onions. Oh, I tell you what, I have missed this while I've been away in Australia. Uh, we did have an uh, Indian meal over there, but it's not the same as you get back over here in Old Blighty, is it? They're nice and crispy as well. Look at that. Mmm. Right. Try and eat this delicately on camera without getting it all over the place. Here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. All cold as well, which is nice, nice and refreshing. But it's gorgeous, and I love it. Look at look, nice and crispy. Right. So I'm looking forward to this. Not just chicken tikka masala like I normally have. Mixing it up a little bit, and what better way 
and to do it with tapas. They've also got a um, bottomless brunch on as well, as you saw there on the menu as well, which is kind of interesting. So I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be good, hopefully. Mm. Mm. Right, my friends, so the goods have arrived and now I've um, sort of like collared you again, haven't I? Because I thought, do you know what? I'm not going to try and explain all these because we've got all the different dishes. So what have we got here? This is hot chilli fish. So this is hot chilli fish that we've got there. Okay, the hot chilli fish. I'm going to show you in a moment. Then this dish here as well. It's a chicken tikka. Uh, chicken tikka. And then this one here. It's a chicken mumu. And this is the chicken mumu. Yeah. Uh, and what yes, is chicken mumu? Chicken mumu is a Nepalese traditional dish and it's uh, uh, cooked with steam like um, uh, it's a chicken dumpling. Oh yeah, yeah. And this is served with special chutney. It's a hot sauce. A hot sauce? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna like you're gonna like me doing the hot sauce. I know what you you guys like me to have the hot sauce and see me in pain. Uh, and then we've got two sauces here as well. Uh, which what have we got there? This is mint sauce, and this is tamarind sauce. And tamarind sauce. Okay. So, before we go any further, my friends, take a closer look. Right, my friends, so there you go. Right, so let's dig in first. I know you're going to like to see me suffer. I'm hoping it's not too spicy. So we'll go in for the uh, hot chilli fish first, I think. I'm looking forward to the chicky moo moo one there. Let's go into this hot chilli fish. Here we go. Wow, look at that. Okay, there we go. Right, okay. That's um, waiting for the kick. There's a delayed kick on here. Oh, wow. Oh, my word. That is like... It's got a kick to it, but... There you go, just look at that. It's a nice kick. It's like a... It's not an aggressive burn or anything. It's And I am a bit of a chilli, bit of a spice wash, but that's nice. It's got a bite to it without it biting your head off. Mm. That is gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. Mm. Right, let's try. The, um, that is too nice. I'm going to have to go for some more. Mm. Right, let's try the chicken tikka. Look at that. Glazed on top there. Let's cut into this. The chicken is so tender there. That is gorgeous, right. That. Mm. That is melting in your mouth. It's like a slight kick to it on that one, but not a lot. Sound like Paul Daniels. That is gorgeous. Wow. Hmm. Got some spices on there as well. Right. Now, the one that I really want to try. We just have some water here. Cleanse my palate. Is the chicken moo moo. So we will go in for this. Now, this is the steamed one there that we've got there, cut into that. Let's have some of this sauce as well, which apparently is a bit spicy. There's your spicy sauce. I'm gonna cut into the chicken mumu first. That's steamed. There you go, if you can see that. I'm gonna put a bit of this sauce on, which is supposed to be hot sauce. 
Oh. That. Mmm. That's absolutely. That's beautiful. And the hot sauce again. I was a bit worried. I thought it's going to knock my head off, but it isn't. It's gorgeous. Right. I'm going to eat these. Then we've got the main course as well. This is really good. It was fate. I literally walked past the place and I don't know what attracted me. I think it was the outside. I just thought, oh, I'll film that before I head off to Cyprus. Nice little video. And I'm glad I did. This is really nice, really nice food. Right. I'm not sure which is my favourite. I like them all. I mean, I'm not normally a fish dish, but I'm going to go in for a little bit of that as well. Let's put a bit of that on. Mm. This, is, this is a great way to experience Indian food. Right, I'll see you guys in a minute. Mm. You know, this really is a fantastic way to try different dishes uh, and different Indian dishes. I've always said before, I've always had chicken tikka masala and that is me. I, I know where I am, I like what I like, but I'm always worried to try a different dish because I think, oh, if I don't like the dish, then I've kind of like ruined my dinner. Whereas if you have these, you can have a little bit of each and it gives you that chance just to try different dishes without sort of like locking yourself in to one dish for the meal. And it really is fantastic. And there's a right amount of spice and it doesn't take away and deter from the flavor. It is mm, gorgeous. Right, leave me to, uh, do you know what? The gentleman said, don't eat all of it, leave room for your main course. I'm like, but I don't want to waste it. And I haven't eaten all day. Right, so the main course has arrived and it looks absolutely superb. Manisha's going to go through the dishes in a moment. I was just saying to you off camera, I'm always terrified of trying new dishes and I always try the chicken tikka masala. And you've said you've come across that before with other customers that have come along. They always have their, their set dish that they like but don't want to try anything else because they're looking forward to having a nice night with the dish that they like. But with this, this is great because you can actually get a taster of each dish. And then if you do come back as well, you can actually just have the main dish, I guess, if you want. So it gives you that option to try different dishes, which is good, isn't it? Yes. So is the chicken tikka masala the, the, the most popular dish, do you think? Or? Yeah, chicken tikka masala in the UK is a very popular dish. Yeah, very popular dish. It's probably the Even most... people are scared to try something else, those who love chicken tikka masala. But... Uh, when we come across with this one, we always try to uh, take a chance like they can go a little bit extra mile and they try something else and they like it and they go ahead. That's it, so they can always add a little bit more yeah. spice to it. So I'm just going to grab my drink there one course, second. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so what have we actually got here then before I uh, let the viewers have a look at this? So we've got two, one, two, three, four, five dishes there. Uh, so what's this one for a start here? 
This is buttered chicken. That's the buttered chicken. I, I do like a buttered chicken, I have to say. I like that. Uh, and then the one that we've got here. This is Tarkanal, yellow lentil. Yellow lentil, okay. And then this one here. This is Lagan chicken. So this is house special chicken. House special chicken, okay. And then this one here that we've got there. It's uh, desi lamb. So this is also house special lamb. House special lamb. Lamb curry. And then this one here, which is strange looking. What, what is that one there? It's, it's a gulab jam. It's uh, a dessert. Oh, that's a dessert. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then we've got the uh, the naan bread there. Is that a Peshawari naan? No, it's a just normal plain naan with a uh, little bit of butter on top. And there's pilau rice with papadom. Brilliant. And that looks lovely there because it's nice glazed over the top there. And a little bit of papadom as well. And also the rice. What type of rice is that? It's a pilau rice. Pilau rice. This looks fantastic, my friends, and I can't wait to try them. I'm trying something different for a change, I think, for the first time in the history of this channel. This gentleman here has got me to try something else. And I have to say, I was a little scared to try the starters, but they were gorgeous. I mean, I've been missing out all this time, and that's why you should try something different, I guess, isn't it? Right, before we go any further, my friends, you know the score. Take a closer look. Right, okay, so now I just sort of remembered which is which. I've lined them up in order as uh, per the menu so I can, uh, so I know what I'm tasting here. So first of all, we've got the lamb dashi there as well. I'm going to put the, uh, the naan bread on the side there. Pop the, uh, the rice then, make a little uh, moat for it there. So we're going to go in first for the lamb dashi there. Um, Oh wow, that looks very tender. Okay, here we go. Lamb dashi. Let's try some of this first. So, let's break into this. Where's my knife? Let's have a look what the lamb is like on this. Oh, look at that. Right. Oh. It's just breaking apart. So tender. That is gorgeous, not too spicy, not too overwhelming. Mm. I have to say, very tasty, very tender. Oh yeah, okay. These guys have got my attention now. I'm going to rinse the palate and then we're going to try the Lagan special chicken. So this is their special chicken on there. We're just going to pop some of this into here, into the moat. Okay. This is, oh wow, look at that. Look at the chicken in there. Right chunk of chicken that is. I can, people are actually, it's now quarter past six and people are actually coming in to next door there. Uh, luckily I'm out of the way because the last thing that you want is a loud YouTuber shouting about the food while you've come for a nice romantic meal. Uh, so there we go, this is the Lagan special chicken. The chicken is tender, oh! That's got a a nice little, nice, nice, that sauce is gorgeous. It's got a little bit of a bite on the tongue. Mmm! So it's kind of a fruity taste as well. That, I like that. That is very nice. Right, buttered chicken. I'm just going to wipe my fingers here. One second. So I think we're going to go in for the buttered chicken now, which I know. I know my buttered chicken. So here's the buttered chicken. Some nice thick bits of chicken in there. Very creamy. That for me. I know I'm going to like this because I do like a buttered chicken. I have this a lot when I'm uh, 
with Sarah up in Leeds. There we go. Nice tender chicken. Very creamy. Mmm. Oh wow. Okay. That is gorgeous. Very mmm. Tomatoey. Oh yeah. That. Mmm, that is good. Right, okay. What have we got next? The Tadka Dal. Okay, so we're going for that. Okay. This is lentils, I think he says. So I think we'll just try a little bit of this. Pop some of that on there. Okay, this is lentils. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. Very nice. I'm not really a massive lentil fan or a fan of lentils. It always reminds me of Neil from The Young Ones. But that is tasty and wow. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Easy, Tiger. Uh, <coughs> it's got a bit of a, a bit of a sneaky, sneaky kick of it to it, that has. Mmm. Right. Okay. I'm going to eat this. I'm not going to go in for the dessert just yet. Because I'm going to finish a bit more of this uh, main course. We'll go in for the naan bread as well, which is the uh, plain naan with butter on the top of it, nice glazed. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to dip that into the uh, into the buttered chicken there. That. Oh. It's spot on. I'll tell you what. I'll be coming back here. 100% this is fantastic I'll see you guys in a minute when we try the dessert but wow that's all I'm saying I was scared to try it terrified to try some of them because I know where I am but this I'm so glad I did it is amazing food mm. Right, okay, so I'm going to try the dessert, which is a milk dumpling, isn't yes. it? I said, what, 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 what basically is it? It's a milk dumpling. So before we go any further, I'm just going to try the milk dumpling. I've also asked for a mango lassie. Oh, wow, that is really, really nice. Let's try that. It looks nice. Hmm, it's warm as well. It's called gulab jamun. And what's the uh, sauce that it's in? This is sugar syrup. Which is flavored with bell pepper, lemon. Mmm. Actually, just give me one more minute. I just need to try that. I think I just need to try that again. One, one more mouthful. Mmm. You know what? I think I just need to try one more mouthful. You have to keep trying. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Very nice. Right, now then, before we go on. I'll take a little drink of water there. That was gorgeous. I have to apologise because I just walked in off of the street like some kind of crazy person with a phone on a stick saying, I need to get a video before I go to Cyprus. Do you mind if I film? And you were so hospitable. And he, honestly, you might think this is all made up and set up, but you honestly have never, not a clue who I am, have you? Well, you should do now. I got, I got him to subscribe. I said, give me a phone. One more subscriber. <laughs> I 
It's been absolutely fantastic. And I have to say, you're the first person in history to get me to try something that is not a chicken tikka masala. So I can't say that I disliked any dish. I loved every one of them dishes. The starters as well, the, the fish dish that was there, everything was really tasty and it was so nice to try different dishes. Even the uh, the lentil dish that was in there as well that had a little bit of a kick to it. It was a that was a sneaky one that was. You put it in, you think, oh okay, then it then then the uh, the kick uh, kicks in. Absolutely superb. I mean, if I had to mark it out of ten, I don't think there's really a score high enough because everything was just so tasty. Um, it was absolutely amazing. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. much. You uh, come. Uh, I, it, it was. I don't know why I came in. I just walked by filming two of the videos, and I thought that place looks really cool. I'll go in and I can do a video, and I did. And it's been brilliant. And you've been amazing. Thank you so very much. you're here most days of the week, yes. aren't you? And do you have a website? Does Lagan have a website? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll put the website in the description down below. I love to support local businesses. You are a local business, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, in Nottingham. Do you have any others? Or this is the. We have another branches. Okay. One is in Beeston Lagarde. Yeah. We have one is in Radcliffe. It's called Habili, Mayban Habili. Ah. It's also Indian fine dining, fine dining restaurant. Nice. Excellent. And obviously, this one here uh, is in the lace market. So thank you again so much. I, I apologize for just. Just jumping in at you and with, a, with a, some strange guy with a weird haircut and a phone on a stick. I'm going to film a video in your Indian restaurant. So thank you very much. For me, it's a 10 plus. It's brilliant. And I loved every dish. And thank you for changing my mind about just trying chicken tikka masala. This guy did it, so at least give him a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, by the way, do hit the subscribe button. Come and support these guys. If you're in Nottingham, I think there's hotels around here as well that they can stay at if they want to come for Nottingham to the night. For the night, Nottingham's a great city. This is a great Indian restaurant, and it's a great place to come. And you've got different deals and different set menus and lunchtime deals. You have a... Uh, an unlimited brunch or something? Yes, we have. Uh, what day is that on? It's, it's on on every day. On every day? Yeah. And, um, Between 12.30 uh, till 3 o'clock. Blimey. So they, or even on the weekends as well? Yes. There you go. Get yourself down here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. You still subscribe, don't you? you yes. Yeah, well, yes it's good. Brilliant. Get everybody in here to subscribe as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.